Hello, how's it going guys? Thank you for watching. For this video, I want to talk about a couple of my favorite books, or at least the books that got me started on keto. I'll start out with two audiobooks that pretty much gave me everything that I needed. Then I'll share with you guys four actual books that have a lot of info and also recipes that I use. Nowadays, most of my recipes come from Meolime app, which uh, has a keto option, and I've actually made two videos about that app. But I do enjoy having these recipe books just to kind of change things up a little bit. I, the first audiobook that I want to talk to you guys about and and the one that basically changed my life was why we get fat and what to do about it. And it's by the author Gary Tobbs. Now he's got a bunch of books that I want to touch on later on. But the biggest one and the one that had the most influence on me was that book right there. Reason being is that it gives you the history of why we assume that low fat is better. And also all the mistake that the scientists made, all the research that was done on it and how scientists were basically fighting for funding and the one that had a hypothesis on fat being bad basically won the fight and how all the ones that actually believe sugar was bad ended up losing to the sugar industry. Anyways, it's a really good book. It takes a little while before it gets to the actual keto portion and the explanation of why the keto diet works. But if you're patient enough, especially if you're doing uh, audio books, which you can do while you're driving, I recommend that book highly, highly, highly. If you're gonna start out with keto, start out with this book. It'll give you that confidence that keto actually works. And it does give you some tips on how to start it. Uh, it doesn't focus on keto. It just focuses basically on low carbs and cutting sugar and bread and all that stuff. Now, before I move on to my second audiobook, I do wanna mention the other two books that Gary Topps has. One is The Case Against Sugar. And again, it has a lot of the same research. I guess a little bit more intense on how the sugar industry won and also good calories and bad calories. And just by looking at the cover, you can kind of get an idea of, of where the book goes, where we start blaming butter for what the bread is doing to our bodies, just unknowingly, just because we have this belief that somehow carbs are better than fat. Anyways, those are two other audiobooks that I recommend. Now the next book, and this is probably the one that most people are familiar with because it breaks down the keto diet to the day, to like, the specific feelings and and the meals and all that and it's called keto clarity by jimmy moore he's uh he's really well known on the low carb keto community uh, this book has everything you can possibly need to go from day one to where you're keto adapted on the second month uh, including meals, including uh, checking ketones. It's basically a how-to or a step-by-step -step on the keto diet. It is the most informative as far as the keto diet. So if you're starting out on keto, definitely start out with those two books because they give you the most information on the shortest amount of time. All right, so now let me get to the actual books, the recipe books that I have. Now, the first one that I recommend is this uh, quick and easy ketogenic cooking. This is by Maria Emmerich. I guess she's been on keto for a long time and even before it got as popular as it is now. So when I first started keto, this was really the only book you can find. Now there's tons on the bookshelves, but this to me was the OG, the one that I, I saw first. It just has tons and tons of recipes. I really wanna go through this whole book kind of like the Juliet and Juliet uh, movie where she goes through all the recipes in the book. You know, the uh, Meal Lime app has a lot of recipes, but it's just something about, you know, having an actual book that feels nice. So if you're that type of person that wants to have like an actual physical copy, this book is excellent. The next book is actually one that I've used a lot for my YouTube videos. A lot of the slow cook recipes come from this book. Easy, low carb, slow cooking is really good. It's really nice. Like I said, I used it a lot. I like it because it breaks down the recipes by ingredients. So like if you're using pork, you just go to the pork section, boom, 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 look at uh, something that looks good to you. Maybe you have the ingredients at hand. And so you just throw that in the slow cooker, five, 10 minutes and you're, you're all set. Now, one thing that I really like about this book is that it breaks down the macronutrients right here. So like the slow cooker carnitas tacos has 75% fat, 90% protein, 6% carbs and it just makes it so much easier. You don't have to do any math. You don't have to think about it. Just go by the recipe and you're on keto. So yeah, if you don't have a slow cooker, get one and make sure you get this book. It's a huge, huge help, especially if you have a busy schedule like I have in the summer and uh, October when the wedding season is kind of come in. Uh, I don't really get as much time to cook, so a slow cooker is excellent. All right, so the next book is for all those uh, sweet tooth people. Uh, my wife has a sweet tooth. I don't necessarily have to have sweets. I'm more of a salty kind of guy, which doesn't sound great for me. I do enjoy salty food more than sweet food, but uh, because I have to keep my wife happy uh, on the keto diet, otherwise I would have to do it by myself, 
I got this book right here, and it's the Sweet and Savory Fat Bomb. I don't do as many fat bombs now because you can find so many keto-friendly uh, sweets online. Unless you're one of those uh, do-it-yourselfers, you don't really have to do fat bombs anymore. Especially my daughters want to start making some fat bombs with me. They like helping me cook and they like sweets, so this is going to be great for them, especially because no sugar. The author of this book is Martina Slagelova. I definitely recommend that one if you have a sweet tooth, if you're having trouble with the keto diet because of craving sweets, or just check out some of my go-to snacks. In fact, my homemade chocolate recipe comes from this book. All right, and the last book that I'll talk about is not really a book, it's more like a pamphlet or like a booklet. Uh, but it's the Keto Bread Baker's Cookbook. I don't use this one as much really when I'm craving like sandwiches or, or just like toast. It does have muffins and breadsticks, almond pumpkin seed bread. So it has a lot of recipes that I want to do, but for the most part, I've only used this for a toast or sandwich bread. This is another book that I kind of want to do all the recipes just so at least I have them in my head. And this is by Elizabeth Jane. And so this is basically for those people that have to have their morning toast or have to have their sandwich to go to work. This is a nice little book to have. So that's it. That's all the books that I have. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to this channel. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And uh, don't forget to hit that bell so you get notifications for whenever I upload new videos. I really appreciate you guys watching my videos and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.